Okay, um, that's really small. Whatever, it's the question. Now I've got the numbers that we need. Um, pin. Determine the mass of the ball. Okay, so when you see a question that's like this, what concept comes to mind? Well, it's talking about wavelength. Mm -hmm. So thinking, you know, the equation just used a minute ago with the wavelength and speed. Since it's talking about velocity. Mm -hmm. Now, the key thing here is that this is velocity. So this is regular old V because it's speed. It's not frequency. Okay, so you've got, ignore this thing. You've got wavelength, you've got velocity. What's it asking for? The mass, which means probably grams. It's probably going to be in grams. It's actually going to be in kilograms. But it is a mass unit. So how can you get these three to relate to one another? Mm. We're going to play, ooh, we could play hangman. Okay, one word, and then all right, there we go. There's your... Uh... There you go. So what letter you got first for the concept? Is it the De Broglier? Well, dang it. Yeah, De Broglier. <laughs> De Broglier. Hey, I spelled it almost right. Yeah, it's De Broglier. So your guy lives. Um, so De Broglier is going to be the wavelength of particles. And our baseball is not, or a ball isn't really a particle, but we're treating it like it's a one single particle for the sake of this question. So what is our de Broglier wavelength equation? The lambda thing mm -hmm. equals H over MC. That's right. So lambda equals Planck's constant over M. And then, so this is where I, I think your book has it written out as V. Um, I talked about it in the video as C, as in speed of light, but really it's just the speed of the particle itself. So since the question gives you the wavelength, uh, it gives you the wavelength. It, you already know Planck's constant. These are supposed to be check marks. They're just really not good check marks. Um, and it tells you the mat or the velocity. The only thing that's left is said mass. So now it becomes a plug and chug. Yeah. Um, if you follow the units. You're going to have, uh, it's going to be important for that wavelength to be in meters. And that's because the uh, H has that unit of joules times seconds. Um, mass is in kilograms, right? And then velocity is going to be in uh, per second. Right, because okay. um, it's saying like meters per second. Oh, sorry, meters per second. Um, and so if we break out that joules into its fundamental unit, it's going to be kilogram oh, times meters squared over seconds squared. times seconds because all of this is the joules um, over kilograms times uh, 
meter over a second. Is it kilogram squared? Oh, I can't remember now. It's embarrassing. I just looked that up, like, I think yesterday. No, I got it right. I got it right. Um, computer, there we go. And so then your units end up canceling out because you're going to have the meters. Oops. You're going to have the meters, and that's going to cancel out with uh, this one over here. And then... Um, well, and this one's going to cancel one of those, and this one's going to cancel one of those. So, like, all of your meters cancel out. Um, this is going to cancel with one of these. This is going to cancel with one of these. Um, and then what's going to be left over is your kilograms after you do the rearrangement. Like, it won't actually cancel out. Those kilograms won't truly cancel out after the rearrangement. That makes sense. So I didn't punch any of those numbers, but that's the process. Yeah. So like number four here, um, we talked about uh, in the um, Bohr model of the atom video. Mm -hmm. That's the whole... Um, and the key that you know, like that uh, equation for the Rydberg constant and jazz like that, you know that you want to use that one, that equation for this question, um, because it's giving you a transition of energy levels. You're going from one orbit in the case of, because this is like, it's really one orbital to another orbital, but um if you were saying it's the Bohr model, you could say like, oh, it's one orbit to another orbit, but it's really orbitals. Um, but the, yeah, the here in blue is that key that lets you know that that's the equation that you're looking, you're wanting to use. Okay. Okay. And then uh, same thing um, for not question number five. 